You know the expression, if you're not first, then you're last? Always remember, if you ain't first, you're last. I think that is also very, very applicable to bug bounty hunting because if you're not the first to find a vulnerability, then you're pretty much last and you're not going to get bounted or paid for it and you're going to receive a duplicate. But I think the whole being first has a different things that come into play. And the first one is just being the first to find a functionality and then being the first to find a vulnerability in that functionality that's going to get you paid. But I think there's also another aspect to this when it comes down to recon specifically is that if you're not the first to find an asset, then you're not going to be able to find those easy low hanging fruits. And obviously someone else is going to find them because you are way behind and you're late to the party. So in this video, what I want to do is I want to talk about how do we actually look for assets that are being spun up? What are the different ways that we can be the first to find these assets and what are the tools out there and how do we do that? But before we do that, do me a favor, drop me a comment. Let me know what kind of a hacker are you? Are you a web hacker, a recon hacker? Because this is going to help me figure out what I want to make as far as content goes on this channel in the future. The one way that I would recommend doing this, and this is something that I actually do for myself is actually looking and monitoring the certificate transparency logs. If you're not familiar with cert transparency, in short is large companies were finally tired of malicious certificates being issued under their names and they come up with this transparency log that actually open sources the data for it. So every time a brand new domain is given an SSL cert, it's gonna get published in a database for everyone to know in case there is a malicious cert out there so they can revoke it and just get that record removed. So that's like the, the very short way of explaining what is cert transparency logs. And if you're not familiar with certificates and it's a little tiny lock you see at the top of your browser that says hey your data is being transmitted securely and a lot of companies use it as a security measure but we're not going to get into that for today's video but the thing that I want to talk about is you can actually monitor those logs and you can actually use some of these companies or tools and open source tools that help you actually look for data within them. But a lot of times what the problem with this is that this data is very, very late or it's maybe by 48 hours late. And if you want to be the first to find a particular asset, I think 24 hours to 48 hours being late is it is a really large gap between the data being created and then you getting access to it. So in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about it tool called Gunger. I think that's how you say it by Gunner. So he just created this tool that actually monitors a bunch of different sources, but I'm going to stop explaining it and let him talk about what the tool does. And then later after his explanation, we're going to jump into a video and talk about how I use it and how you can set up a Discord bot that actually monitors for particular domains. And we're going to create a little bit of a fun lab together. Yeah. So the reason why I built the tool is because cert.sh has been a service for a long time and the CT logs that it pulls are all public and those have been around for a long time. There's a publicly published list that's up to date from Google on what CT logs are up to date and common or rejected or whatever. And it's pretty easy to send an HTTP request and see if it's live. The thing that I noticed is whether it's SubFinder or any other tool or you're hitting uh, cert.sh directly, it is always like not super responsive and sometimes has a long response time, sometimes doesn't respond at all. Even using it in a tool like SubFinder that it's integrated in didn't work super great. The other thing is I wasn't super confident. It was pulling everything like constantly up to date. And I thought maybe you could beat it. So I did a little bit of experimentation and turns out it is like behind by normally 24 to 48 hours was my finding. So that is the whole reason why I built the tool is it is the same public data sources. The data will land in cert.sh eventually. This tool just pulls it first. So it's constantly reading the top of the tree in all of the CT logs, that's all public information. They're all uh, certificates as they get posted. And all the tool does is any log that it can read, it reads the top of the tree and gives the domains as fast as it can. And my research proved pretty true that I found some domains for certain bug bounty targets that were 24, 48 hours before they showed up on SubFinder or querying cert.sh directly. So. I would beat it by a day or two sometimes and I thought it was cool enough to turn into a tool. Well, downloading this tool is super, super easy. All you have to do is just go get the Go binary and then run it. The way it works is it's gonna actually quickly run the command right here for help. You can see there's a debug and also takes an R string, which is a file to your root domains and then it outputs those log. But before we do anything, I'm just gonna run this tool by itself and let it just kind of show us the data that it comes up with. 
And what it's going to do is just going to spit out every single one of these domains that is being issued a brand new cert. That means that right now, at this time that we're looking at this data, without just filtering any domains or subdomains, what we're doing here is we're seeing a live feed of everything that is being issued. You can see some of these are wildcards, but in some cases, you can see there's Amazon AWS domains. And if we go back down here, there are some random domains that we probably don't care about, but it's just to show this is how the tool works and you can get some really good data out of it. But now what we want to do is we want to actually give it a list of domains and these domains could be any bug bounty program or any organization, including yours that you want to monitor. And you can see in here, I have Yahoo, Apple, Google, and hack with Nahomsek. And right here, if I run this right now, I'm going to actually go back and give it the R flag and say, Hey, I want you to do use domains.txt. And right now you can see that it is actually running it. Obviously, there's not anything coming out because those domains don't have anything new. But right now we can see that Apple just had this being issued. But I want to kind of see how fast is this tool? If I have my own domain or if I have my own subdomain, how fast is it going to be to get this issued? And is it going to actually pick it up really quickly? So to prove this, I'm just going to live on this video, create a certificate on my end on my website on this screen. But on the main screen right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do a search query. What I'm doing with this is I'm just hitting this search website and saying, hey, what are the certificates that are under the domain hack with Nahomsek? And we can see there is a couple of things like YouTube, XSS, Test One, SSR, FPOC, Network Chuck, Child Stern for a brand new video he just put out with me in there, Blind XSS, and App. So these are the ones that we know exist already. And But what I want to do now is I want to create a brand new domain that's called Did You Find Me on this box right here. And I'm going to pull out my keyboard right here and I am going to run Gunger one more time. So we're going to have Gunger running it on those domains and nothing is happening. We saw earlier that this did you find me did not exist. And as soon as I press enter right here, it is going to start creating it. So right now it's creating the certificate on my website. It's going to get a couple of seconds to do it right about 40% right now. But as soon as this is done, I want to kind of see is this tool going to catch it? Is that right? I'm going to do a query to start the search also and see if it found it already. So right now on this end, that was created. We're going to put a countdown on the windows. I'm going to put a countdown on the screen and see how long it takes for this tool to find this new domain. So there, we just see that immediately after in this tool, it took about like 20 to 30 seconds almost that it found this domain that we just created on the left. And if we go to search the stage, I'm assuming that either they found it already on here or it hasn't been released, which it looks like sort of such also found that the point here is that you can either rely on one source and make sure that they are giving you good asset and good data, or you can just rely on open source tools that talk to a bunch of different sources and find these different domains on there. So how and what tool you use doesn't really matter, but it's just more of a, you want to make sure you are the first to find these assets. And now I'm going to show you how we can actually create a discord bot that's going to alert us every time we find a brand new asset. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to use a couple of tools to make sure we get all of our data from Gunger and then use something like a new to make sure we are tracking only brand new assets and then use notify to send all this data to our discord server. So what I'm going to do really quickly here is actually look at our config file. I've created an ID called Nahomies. This is what we're going to use for our notify. And then we're going to use a channel called test username Nahomies. This is what we call our bot. And then it's going to send this data into this webhook URL. And if we look at our discord really quick, you can see I have made this test channel. And if we go to our edit channel and integration, this is where you can actually create a new webhook and then copy the URL just like I did. So now I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to use Gunger and say, Hey, I want you to just use this file. This is the domains.txt that we want to track all the domains that I want to look at. And then I want you to use a new to track all the new assets. So if a particular domain or subdomain comes up twice, it's going to ignore it and not write it to results.txt. And the other reason why we do this is we kind of want to just make sure that we're not losing track of all of our assets. So if you ever turn your box off, reset it or something, you kind of have a historic data from the past. And then when you rerun this again, it's only going to show you the data from your previous run. And then notify is just a notification tool that's by project discovery. It allows you to just give it an ID, which we just created called Nahomies. And it's just going to, anytime that there is a brand new asset printed on this page, what it's going to do is it's going to just take that data and post it into our discord channel in here 
as soon as it gets notified. And now to show you how to really quickly how it works, and I just spun up a brand new certificate on this side, and you can see on the screen that right away it found it. And if we pull up our Discord really quickly, we can see that the Nahomi's bot just flagged that we found this Nahomi's domain, and now we could be the first to practically find this. You can see how fast it was. It literally took me like maybe 10 to 20 seconds to spin this up on this other box, and right away it found it for us. And now you can just create some other automation to maybe either feed this to HTTPX, feed it to Nucle, or even just have this asset monitored for yourself to go to in your browser and see what's on it and if there's anything that you can hack on and find some vulnerabilities within it. All right, that's it. Let me know what you think of this video. Let me know if you like seeing more recon content. I enjoy doing recon to a certain extent. I've taken a break from it and I'm thinking maybe going back and making more recon content. Maybe I even bring back live recon. Who knows? Drop me a comment. Let me know. And I will see you all in next week's video. Peace.